Hello, may I tell you the story of our Lord and Saviour, Aaron Carroll? Um, let me tell you the story of Aaron Carroll and how to analyze studies. Food is not inherently bad, it's just how much you eat. Let me preach you the words of the pure and sacred RCTs, foretold many times through meta-analyses. Hey! No! Listen! These are the words of the milk company entering your mind. Look into the research and question it, alright? I preach, I preach, listen to these words. Words of proper study where no bias is allayed. <laughs> Got a new mic. Today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind lately. Today I want to talk about power and that you guys might have more power than you think. If you're able to watch this video, you already have a lot of influence in the world. Obviously not the majority of the influence since there are 7 billion people, but more than most people. So you may not be quite sure in all the ways you can potentially execute your powers as an individual who is lucky enough to have access to the internet and lucky enough to have other certain privileges. So I'm lucky enough to have a job. Brought to you by Muspers. Which means I'm lucky enough to have money. If you're lucky enough to live in a country like mine and have a job where you're able to have spare money, I think it's kind of an obligation for you to give a little bit of that money away. But maybe you're a little greedy and or don't have enough spare funds to willingly give away. Which, it's up to you, it's your money, that's the way capitalism works. You're not technically obligated to do anything. Um, it's just if you do, that's good. That's a good thing. You don't have money to give, um, there are other things you can do as a citizen of the internet and or your country. I'm gonna mostly be focusing on the internet side of citizenship. One big thing you can do on the internet is actually sign petitions. If you haven't heard of change.org, which if you have and heard of change.org, you're probably not even a citizen of the internet. Things like that can actually be very useful in helping people perform good things in the world and seek change. You can also use change.org to give money to certain foundations if they request it, or just leave a tip to change.org because it's a good platform and helps doing stuff. I've had a lot of coffee. If you have friends you can rely on, even if you want them to do something that they may not strongly believe in, if you have people who trust your judgement enough to be able to help contribute to a cause that you like, or a cause that you really want to support, it can be really helpful to try get them to contribute their power as well. Because even when you only got a few friends, if you can just get a couple more people to help put in that extra dollar or to help sign that petition, which is completely free, the first person that does that for you doubles your power and then the next two doubles it again. And that can really make even further impact, especially if more people do it when they're trying to do something, like make a difference. I just had a need to discuss this because... First of all, some recent events have made me realise that I'm very lucky to be where I am and to have the certain problems that I have in my life. There's still problems and there's still real problems that I have, but I feel lucky that these are the problems that I have. And I realise that the world has given me a lot of power. I still feel like it is my duty to make sure that more people have the ability to have this power. I feel lucky as a person to be in the country that I am, to be born into the family that I was born into, just lucky to be the person that I was. And I feel like it's kind of an obligation for me to make sure that the luck that I have gotten so far in life doesn't go in vain and that, that I'm able to use what has been given to me and to do good with it. And I want to let all of you, 52 people, by which I mean 20 because that's how many views I get per video, to also know that. So use what powers you have and use them wisely, but also remember to keep yourself happy and... Ciao.